following video contains strong language which may be offensive to some viewers and or inappropriate for children. The content within this video is intended for mature audiences only. Viewer discretion is advised. Strap up, motherfucker. It's in the gutter podcast. Yo, 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 we back at it like crack addicts, folding these holes like Kraft Maddox. It's in the gutter motherfucking podcast. Woo! Got her! Fuck yeah, baby. Episode 39. 39. Sorry about that. Sean, show us the joint that you just rolled. Dude. This motherfucker wanted to show us his joint. Like, we don't have 100 years combined of smoking experience at this table. Put that little shit away, nice man. Like, like, like I'm all little, proud. I'm a little uh, mad, though, that, like, marijuana is now legal. And I got, I got, like, 30 years rolling joints. And I'm, like, a professional. I should have a professional weed rolling job right now. You, you think that? No, that's gay. <laughs> that's you wanna, so you want to lick, lick something for somebody else for the rest of your life? That's not even no, like a I job. I should be rolling bones for a living. That's not a job. That's like saying, oh, <laughs> yeah, like that. you know what? I'm good with my mouth. I think I should be sucking dick for a living. No, no, they got these cones. You know, they don't need no. They don't need me. Just yeah, push it. Cones. You just you push yeah, it. You don't need none of that shit. You just stuff them in there or whatever. Make sure you check out www.inthegutterpodcast.com for all of your latest uh, podcast news. Also, our merch. merch. Uh, Subscribe got, on YouTube, iTunes, and Spotify. Yeah, we got merch up on the website. Uh, check it out right now. I am rocking uh, In The Gutter Podcast patch um, right here on my uh, on your right, whatever the fuck, your right, my left. Um and they are five bucks. We also got in the gutter podcast t-shirts. Um, uh, I can't check the. I don't know. I can't remember the price. I'll check the website. Those um, are twenty uh, bucks. And please, uh, actually, please don't buy one because then I have to take a trip to the post office. Yeah, it's all <laughs> pandemic no, outside still. Uh, b- buy a fucking shirt. No, anyway, buy them because we have a lot of them. And we'll, we'll yeah, get it. They to look you. nice on you. Anyway, once again, that website is www.inthegutterpodcast.com. Uh, check out our shit. Um. Yeah, man. So this weed shit. So yeah, we got we got like a hundred years experience combined at this table Definitely. just smoking weed, man. And um, I'm gonna be honest with you. I just switched over. You you guys got your medical card? I know I know Sean. I still haven't yes. done it yet. Sean got his medical card. You're out in the open right Penny now. Penny had a medical card, but you didn't. No, no. So I had. It, right? I was on as a caregiver. So somebody. Oh. So you could. You guys actually. One of you could put me on as a. Th- but I. So I would fuck up buying so, your shit. So that would mean you would have to go to the store and get my weed. Yeah, but <laughs> exactly. That's exactly what it is. I would. Yeah, yeah. You guys. I think you could do that. I don't see why not. My fucking sister-in-law did it. And I don't even think she had the same last. No, maybe. She yeah, but caregivers don't make no money. They just. No, but I can. No, go, it's I just could, like, I could go get the. It's kind of like you can go half on a, on, a, on a license if you wanted to. In a way, yeah. <laughs> I mean, in a way. But the only thing is, is I think you get only a certain amount of buy a month, right? Well, you get 10 ounces, I think. A month? But it's enough. It's enough. I mean, come on. Who's smoking 10 ounces in one month? Yeah, yeah it's true, true, true. Wiz Khalifa, maybe. I mean, if they, if you got it. Like Snoop Dogg and his know? entourage. That's what I'm saying. We were talking <laughs> about rolling. Like, Snoop, you, you already yeah, you know, but it's like just paying one of his friends like to roll once all day. I don't think he put an ad out. Like, but out of all the celebrities, who you think could smoke 10 ounces in a fucking... A day? That's a lot of fucking Not a weed. day, not 10 ounces in a day, but in I mind. mean. Yeah, but if you, if you did the math, I don't think it's possible. Well, think about it. 16 ounces in a pound, so somebody that can smoke a pound in a week. A week? Let's say. Uh, we, really, you gotta be 10, wasted. Ounces, 10 ounces you get for Alone, but by yourself, one person. You can't have, you one can't person. share with anybody. Oh. And what kind of weed is it? Because if it's like a sativa, you can smoke that shit all I day. I think mathematically, though, you'd probably be smoking every minute. But that's what I'm saying. You wouldn't like, have a time to take a break if you had to get rid of a whole Well, it pound. doesn't have to be in a week, but I'm just saying. like, How long do you think a pound would last? Well, how long does an ounce last you? That's a good question. Sometimes like a month. I could go like a month. If you had to stretch it, you could. I mean, but yeah. lately, an ounce, an ounce would like not a, last a month for me. Two weeks is, right yeah, now. Not even, so I, not even two weeks? At the, like not at the rate I'm going right now, no. Mm. A week and a half, maybe. I'm having a little too much fun at these dispensaries. <laughs> yeah, so like, like, it's maybe because we're just fucking broken, like trying to like fucking uh, what's it called, like ration. Do you know what I'm saying? But I don't know. Right. I mean, I don't know. You get like an eighth that's gone in a fucking day, an hour. I don't know. So it's like it's hard to tell. I actually thank God they got the dispensaries now, because now I ain't gotta wait on nobody like ready to feed me no bullshit story or nothing like that. Like I don't go to the dispensary and they're like, yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I'm I'll waiting on my five, guy. I'll be back in five minutes. 
and then six hours go by, you don't hear nothing back from them. Now, like, going to the dispensary is like, that's like premium. That's oh, primo perfect. right there. It's like perfect. So now I ain't got to, like, because if I call a weed man, I'm going to call three niggas at one time. And see, whoever gets there first, nigga, you can get the shit. It's That's America, it. you know what I mean? <laughs> whoever gets there first, motherfucker. I got my weed cut so I didn't have to play those games, right? Exactly. That's, that, the, but, that's but, the whole point. Disa- but I'm disappointed, though, because I just got an eighth of a wedding pie. I won't I won't throw out the dispenser's name, but we I found five fucking seeds in an eighth. Yeah, it's a plant, motherfucker. You're going to find seeds. Like yeah, dispensary but, shit? No, I pay $55. Dude, if, and- you <laughs> grow, if you can grow your own weed yes. and you find a seed... Wouldn't that be helpful? Ah, uh, yeah. It's a seed. And, uh, and you grow but weed. But it's not feminized. Like out of the, out of those yeah, plants. Yeah, but that's the thing. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta. Where's your fucking you botany skills, my nigga? Yeah, out of those plants I had, I think there was like maybe we found like two or three seeds out of like three plants. I want to find seeds. I haven't found any seeds in the home. Yet. No, no. But they were like they were not really like. So good if you don't seeds. find any seeds, that means it's good. Well, yeah, no, because it just it's means, not. It just means the the planters didn't harm out. Exactly. I mean, it's still gonna get you high with or without seeds. I mean, right. I'll, that's all we used to get. But as you kids. could have some shit with seeds. I mean, with no seeds, and it's, it's just like it's just shit. a pain in the ass to True. have to pick through it. Yeah, especially, dude, when, you, back especially in the day? when you put your weed in the grind and you grind that shit up. You start grinding up seeds, and you're like, "What the fuck is that smell?" Next thing, it's a seed. It's crack, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you hear that? Sizzle? I don't know what they're putting. <laughs> the fuck is that smell? I don't know what they're doing with these fucking. <laughs> Like snap, crackle, pop. oils. <laughs> Word. It's like being like like finding a seed in your weed is like having an all black family, and then you find that one redhead kid, and you're like, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck was going on? Somebody was cheating or something. I don't know what the fuck was going on. A lot of freckles. Yeah, a lot of freckles. I think that's discrimination. <laughs> who, who gives a fuck? We can do that because this is a podcast, yeah. right, ladies and gentlemen? Mm-hmm. You can listen to all the bullshit you want. Or you can shut it off. To, I have to listen. <laughs> you can you totally shut it off. I have to listen to it from these motherfuckers when they be talking their yeah. nasty weird shit. Yeah, you know, I, I gotta hear all that shit. Like today, for instance, there was a question that said, uh, "I was I was, I was shooting the taping for uh, Nikki Hollywood, Luparelli. for Nikki Luparelli on um, Hollywood Squares, and uh, one of the questions was, um, "Is it safe for you to eat your own semen?" And I was like, Ugh. "I'm sure everybody's I mean, tried it." I, I mean, but like is it like safe? Not, by, it, not it by, safe like, though? a spoonful. <laughs> well, oh, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Like, y'all motherfuckers start taking shit to the left start field for freezing nothing. It like, up. It's like, yo, all right. <laughs> I got my kids yo, in the freezer. Change? Never mind. I'm all set. I'm all well, set. this just proves your point exactly. No, you know okay. what I mean? You were like, just, you, already, you know, see how it just goes, and you were just like, yeah, exactly what just happened. Shut your bitches! <laughs> uh, I want to hear that shit, man. God uh, damn. What mm. is going on? Um. So... I was looking at uh I was looking I was listening to um like I've never been focused on politics more than anything except like because now it's like about money. everywhere now. But sure. right now like honestly like if you're on unemployment, if you're uh, uh if you're a private business, if um you know, you are waiting on that PPP money or If you're an American. Yeah. Well, for a lot of <laughs> yeah, a lot of people are yeah, like, people are waiting on this money. And motherfuckers have been waiting on this money since August twenty sixth when uh the money for the for the unemployment stimulus ran out. And nobody's been getting no money since. And these motherfucking politicians are sitting there going back and forth. I've never seen no shit like this ever. It's crazy. It's such a farce. Like, do you even follow politics? I mean, I'm not a, I don't follow politics at all. This isn't a political show. No. I don't give a fuck about politics like that. But when it involves my money, yeah. That's when you start paying attention to shit. Kick it in, motherfuckers. And I'm starting to think that this whole thing is like a ruse. Like, these motherfuckers debating, like, they're debating or trying to work out a deal on a stimulus like it's a fucking Like they're episode. fist fighting. It's like an episode of Pawn Stars, dog. <laughs> <laughs> like, these motherfuckers are like, ah, hey, how about I give you $2 trillion? I'm like, ah, it's a little bit too high for me if you come down a little bit. Uh, the price of ink what, is high right you, now. I give you point, I give you... <laughs> I give you uh, eight hundred billion. Eight hundred? No, I need. He went from two point two trillion to eight hundred billion. Then like, one point eight billion, one point eight trillion, two point two trillion. Say it's fucking. Stu- who cares? It's, it's, it's hard cares? monopoly money. If you're throwing around trillions, what's another one? Right. Right. It's like, come, <laughs> like, come the fuck on. We're already in debt. <laughs> Stop it. Yeah, but we're talking about trillions. Or, of dollars. or open the ship back up. Let everybody go back to work. Put the kids in school. Fucking fuck it. Herd immunity. Let's just. I don't even know what that means. I heard of it. I don't know if you know this, but <laughs> shit is definitely opened up. I mean. Kind of. No, it's like half opened. Nah. Yeah. It's open. Uh, yeah, I mean, but a lot of places haven't opened. 
A lot of places no, shut the a fuck lot down. Of, yeah. The places that haven't opened are comedy Dang. clubs and uh, bars, jazz, arcades. Yeah, a lot but of bars and restaurants. Are dead. Bars are still open. No, but there's a lot of that didn't make it through this fucking pandemic. Yes. That aren't opening up. Oh, yeah, they won't open up either. They won't. No. Only the strong survive. I guess, man. But, or they could just lift the restrictions and the people could go back to work. And if the fucking people don't want to go to the fucking wherever, then don't go. Do you know what I'm if saying? If they release the restrictions, I don't think people are going to. People aren't just going to go back. I mean, yeah, they, they will go back. There's going to be a lot of people who right are Because right now, it's actually like, it's like, yo, Dude, you if just I haven't the, got, like, it's been five months, like four or five months or whatever now. If I haven't got the shit, motherfuckers right. is like, fuck it. I'm the, good. The president just had it for a weekend. He was just came out like right. Rocky. This this nigga's nigga's supposed to da, 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 da. He had <laughs> Corona <laughs> for like three days. Yeah, <laughs> so he, now he's immune. Yeah, he's like, immune this, shit is, this shit is planned out, man. Think about it. Like. The, his old ass, he's 70 and 240 pounds or whatever. He's a the fat fuck, fuck dude. He's, and then he's he, he good catches living. fucking corona and all of a sudden he's like, I'm good. I'm good. I'm fine. They gave me the best of medicine. I'll be back out on the streets so he, in yeah, no you time. See, he, was, he was doing like stem cell research shit, which is like pro-life, very pro-life, like anti-pro-life people will be like, fuck, you can't use stem cells as a form of research, which I think they're being ignorant in a way. Like that, that's ignorant. Like I think we should use, if we're, if we're aborting babies, let's, you know, suck up those T-cells, baby, and get something going. <laughs> you know what I mean? We could get like, we can get like a fucking, you know, a... Uh, <laughs> you know, we could maybe we could have a vaccine. Evidently, look what he's doing. He's fucking eating babies and fucking he's now he's immune from coronavirus. Yeah, he don't got re- re- coronavirus. His girl ain't got coronavirus. I wonder how Melania. Well, obviously, I, I'm I, like, think, I, I feel Melania, like they, I feel like they're lying about her. Like she didn't have it, but yeah, they had I think Melania is just like a ruse because I know she don't fuck that nigga. Right? So it's not like she's sitting in the bed like Donald. Come here. I mean, are those kids their Alone kids? Come here and kiss me. Kiss me, Donald. Are those kids their kids, or are they just robots? Or no, something? nigga, them kids is like cyborgs. That's like yeah, a, yeah, who are they? Then they it's like pick first them up baby, somewhere. Miss first baby mama kids or some shit. Are they? They're not from her, right? Or are they? No, look at her body. What does that mean? <laughs> her womb is polluted. She can't handle <laughs> that shit. <laughs> oh shit! I'm Satan, saying. Satan has that child. Now the quaalude should be back. <laughs> For real. You don't know what the fuck is going on with these white people, man. Like, I mean, and they're rich, and her name's Melania, and she's the president's wife. So hot, the hottest, hottest first lady, hottest she, first lady ever. Get the fuck out of here. Who's the hottest first lady before Michelle her? Michelle Obama. What the oh. fuck is wrong? Oh, I, with for, you, I forgot. I forgot you were black. I'm know. sorry. This motherfucker. <laughs> <said, laughs> you're trying to tell me My that bad. Melania Trump is fine? <laughs> fine I'm saying uh, she's the finest first lady ever. Get the, the fuck out of here, boy. I would have fucked the shit out of Nancy Reagan, nigga. Nancy Reagan. Yes. Pull up Nancy I've Reagan. seen old bitches. You fucking. I think you would. No, I'm fucking. <laughs> you ain't never seen an old bitch that I'm fucking. You know. I don't know. This motherfucker's. I'm crazy. just saying. For a first lady, you know. She's like. She's got, nu- so- she's got fucking nudes on the internet. You could fucking noodles. You could Melania uh, Trump. Yes. Go fucking Google fucking. She's Duh, got nudes and she's out there. Hot? I mean, she's yeft for like Melania Trump is hot. You're not looking at the the what I'm trying to say here. No, you're describing Melania as a a hot model. Right. She doesn't speak. Like you don't really hear her talk. No, she knows her place. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm like just, just It feels like she just got dragged into this whole thing. Yeah, no, she came in a box. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so out of all the hottest, so if Melania is the hottest, who's the second? Rank your top five. Buddy, I don't know First any, lady. like, come on, D. I don't know. Like, in the past, nigga, you've been, you're like 100 I, years old. It's oh, like this a, is like kill, marry, know, fuck? I can't think of what Kennedy's wife looked like. What? What she look like? I can't. Oh, or Jackie Onassis? Uh, yeah, Jackie Onassis. She had all that, blood. Nigga, she had she all had that blood on her face and the guts. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's brains. That's, a, that's really how it comes. Okay, so y- are y'all going to answer what no, the I mean, we're talking like I mean, fucking I, Barbara I, I, Bush. I would, like, say, I would probably say. I mean, come on. I would probably say Melania, Michelle Obama, and Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton wasn't even. Wow. Oh, she was a first lady. Wow. I'm an idiot. You wouldn't fuck Hillary? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. I mean. You know, just cause so your top three, just just cause I think she's gonna kill me. Your top three, um, I mean, no, Michelle, Michelle would have to be in the, those two, and then now if no, I gotta nigga, pick so another one. Tell him who's number one, Melania. Yeah, I'd probably fuck her before I fuck Michelle. I think, but I don't know. I mean, maybe. I heard Thomas Jefferson's wife was a sweet piece. <laughs> like I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. I don't have the Michelle, <laughs> the, the Michelle Obama, like infatuation. Like I don't really know shit about her. 
You know what I mean? Like, I don't pay attention to fucking politics. Like, she's got a podcast. She does goes on like a book tour or fucking all this shit. Like, you like, know people, she black. She's like, yeah, I, yeah, I know yeah. Joan all day. Rivers. Joan Rivers yeah. swears that she was a man. A mad people do. That's like a fucking thing. What the thing. fuck does Joan Rivers have to do with this? I don't know. She probably <laughs> has a, a dick video too. on YouTube with Joan Rivers saying Michelle Obama's a man. It's no, mad people say that. They're fucking crazy. <laughs> yeah, like Alex Jones. <laughs> yeah. He's, they're like, look at his dick. It's like, wow, you are fucking <laughs> gross, dude. It's like, what is wrong with you? Why would you say shit like that? They're like, it's all part but of yet, the liberal media. But yeah, we're ranking. George Soros is a plan, yeah. He's a dick, but yeah, we're ranking Who's the hottest fucking? And that's a like valid lady. fucking thing to talk about. I feel like. I mean, I'm just saying. We never. Ha- all right. I'm, all right. What I'm really saying. Motherfucker, is, are you gonna give out your who, top, who three, your top three? three? Come on. I don't, dude. If you gave me like a picture of the last fucking fifty something or whatever, I'll I'll pick out three all day. Are you, Come you're on, trying do to do it, it off the top of my head. In your dude, lifetime, you can't remember the fucking presidents. You have President Carter, President Reagan. I do. President I Bush. do remember what President Carter's fucking first lady looked like. Dog. What I'm telling you is, is that like you know. The fucking late out of yeah, the, yeah, I'm talking. Okay, right, so there's the like so there's you know. Nancy Reagan, there's fucking Barbara Bush, there's fucking there's another Barbara Bush, right? Or the different? What's the other fucking? The other oh, Bush the ditzy wife? blonde dude. What's her name? Uh, uh, she, she, all right, she's I'm fucking her before I fuck Hillary. Dog, the, you haven't laid out no names. You said uh, Melania. And she gets some, it first. And Michelle. So second. Pull up. Pull up. Uh, and the then first and ladies. then I think I think um George George the W's wife. I think I think that one with the two kids. They got the twin girls. You are high. No, I'm not high. Why? Oh, yeah, so Dude, we, we only have five to choose from here. The fucking. Oh, I thought it was. Right, so I'll it, definitely take. I'll definitely take. I, did, um, I took her. Th- she was my third one. Okay, so I'll take. I'll take Michelle Obama. I'll take. Um, I'll take. Um, uh, John F. Kennedy's wife because she had the fat ass. Jackie back o. then. Oh man, I Jackie can't remember o what she the, looks like. Jackie O had the had the dumb fat ass, and then um, third, if I'm gonna fuck anybody else's wife, it's gonna be um Obama's. <laughs> no. I hate when you look at me like that. You anyway, it. man. So, uh, who is it? I don't know. It gotta be Michelle. Don't matter. Every time how are you gonna talk, be Michelle Obama out of this? It don't matter. I already told. I already said Michelle. So Michelle was number one. Okay, so who's Jackie O was number, number two. Oh, That's you're right. It. Who's number two? I didn't get a chance to say number three because every say, time I try to Hillary. fucking talk, y'all keep talking over me. <laughs> no, he's right. So it's no point. To, it's no point for me to say anything. So just moving on to the next topic or whatever. Come this, on, give us y'all a do third this shit one. To me every it's Hillary. Week. It's Hillary, people. Is All right, it? there you go. Whatever. But no, it's I'm not. sorry. That's brutal because you did really say Michelle first. You did, and I missed it. I forgot. I was like, you know, I am. I'm like a fucking yeah, ADD fucking rubberhead. Fucking oh. right in the pussy. I was like, how dare you leave her out? No, no. <laughs> I gotta play that back. Now I'm second guessing. So Kenny, you don't have a top three. Yeah, I, I said, I said, um, he just said it. Melania. Motherfucker, were you listening? See, see, that's why D just got mad at me because you just said the same thing to him. <laughs> no, me. you did, but I don't think you finished. It's like we say something and then you repeat the same you fucking said- thing afterwards. <laughs> like you don't understand what the fuck it is that's going on. It's either <laughs> we're remedial or. I don't know. It's like I'm, Hi. I'm, I'm not ignorant. That's the excuse ignorant. to use for everything. I, I mean, I think just. Yeah, just from this point forth, just shut the fuck up and just say you're high. That's it. Just don't even. You don't have to say nothing. You're no, just no, like, just high. I'm high. I'm high. Uh, so I had I had Melania, <laughs> Michelle Obama, and then the uh, uh, George W. Is, is, uh, the, 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 yeah. From what I'm thinking, I'm thinking she was a little like, a little thick. You know what I mean, a little, oh, yeah, fucking, little, little ditzy, like little. little, 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 little I married the president. Ooh. Yeah, uh, those chicks were cool, dude. The daughters, they got caught with fake IDs and shit. Like out of high school, like early oh, yeah, like college. Ready to, yeah, they ready to get busy. Mm. Doing coke and shit. Bush. <laughs> yeah, Bush. I mean, Obama's kids too. Oh, yeah, she was at the comedy store. I think I seen I think I think I seen one of them girls at the fucking um at the WAP video shoot and shit with Cardi B and Meg Thee Stallion. No shit, huh? Yeah, one of the Obama girls right there. Just rolling up blunts. I mean, you know what I mean? You only live once. And they still got, they got, they got, do they get, um... Secrets? I think so. I think because I, I believe, I believe they're at the studio. That's crazy. One they of them de- was. They get a detail too? I don't think she it. had security with her. No, you think she's just I walking around so. the fucking... Yeah, she's yeah, just... So. Maybe. I don't know. I mean, the president gets heat, his, or her dad does. Why wouldn't... Yeah, but why yeah, the but fuck wouldn't the president kids? Really. Niggas, no, niggas don't he know Niggas don't know who... by walking down the street now. Yeah, no, I mean, I didn't know the fuck kids? she was. I yes. don't know who she was. Obama's kids? Yes, because when because when he was president, when you if you do have a picture of their kids, she's much older now. I think anybody that lived in the White House gets a fucking detail, dog. I think you're right, buddy. 
I mean, I, I think they, you know, I, I mean, I don't know what that costs. She goes to school around here. You mean a, a president's kid is not I'm pretty protected. sure she goes to school. No, they gotta be. In Boston. That don't mean shit. There's a Secret Service nigga right outside her bushes. For real. It's gotta be. The talk and, you know, are they, are they, they got some yeah. kind of eyes. Are you trying to hit that pussy? No, that's gonna be rough. <laughs> you gotta get vetted. <laughs> it's like it's a whole process. I'm like, yo, dog. You gotta go through a screening. I don't, <laughs> got my, I don't got my badge, my nigga, but I hit this pussy last night. Can I come back in? Just scan me in, dude. Come on. Just, yo. I just walked out. You just saw me. All right, just smell my dick right now. <laughs> Does it smell you. like her? Yeah. <laughs> telling you I fucked her, dude. Let me in this bitch. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, Dad? Mr. President, sir. <laughs> got any you got any Tostinos <laughs> in the fridge? Mm, Melania? Um, I don't know. I think I have some hot buckets in there. Hot pockets. Some papooses. 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 The papooses in her puss, jeans. Poos, poos. Ugh. Puss. Could you imagine puss, that puss. shit? Donald just getting ready to like get some pussy? Like, I could not. That nigga's 70 something years old, yo. Now, yeah, but he's all high on Adderall. He's all, Viagra. Ja- he's all he's all jacked up on steroids. Dude. He's not high on Adderall. He's on steroids right now. Yeah, now, nah, but I think he's, I think I think he's also on Adderall. You don't think too. He I'm gonna keep it a buck though. I'm a, I keep it a buck though. I think Donald Trump will fuck up a lot of these presidents because he's on that Adderall. <laughs> with the exception, with the exception. What do you mean, like in a fist fight? Yeah, like if it was a fist fight between these niggas, ah. I think Joe Biden would smoke all them niggas. Oh, yeah, 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 I agree with that. Joe Biden. I got Joe yo, Biden over Trump all day in a fist fight. Did you see the fucking debate? All day in a fist fight, I got Joe. I got sleepy. I'll take Joe all day yo, y'all didn't see over the Trump in a fist fight. Yes, yes. It was brutal. I seen the debate. Yeah, it was like a, I SNL didn't watch the skit. second one. I didn't watch the second one. I didn't watch the vice president. Yeah, one. I, didn't I watched fuck. the president. Oh, the vice president one was hilarious. Dude. Yeah, that was a fly. Yeah, the, the fly. The vice president one did not top. I didn't see the vice president one, so I, maybe I can't see. I mean, you didn't have to, but, but it's like, dog, the fly was the star. The fly was the star. Like, yeah, if night. a fly was the <laughs> America's got a problem. If a fly was the star, then I would have to give the first debate <laughs> the crown for both of the debates because that shit was raw. Yeah. Like, Donald Trump was not playing no games. Dude. And when I say that, like, I say that in all due respect. Like, that debate was like watching two, uh, two ex gangsters from the hood, like, argue about how good they are and shit. About what they used to do, they made it think exactly. And then they start like, like they start pointing out, like they start like throwing jabs at each other and shit. Like, like Biden is like you could tell he's a street nigga that's reformed and he's just trying to get his life right. But you could tell that Trump is still with the shit. Still about that. Yeah, life. he's all about that. He's, life. Still, <laughs> out, he's still out on he's the corners and shit. Because Biden was like, ah, I don't ah. Somebody come get this clown. Dude, he's doing that too. I know, that was crazy. Will you shut up, shut man. Up. He said, shut up. He said, he said, first off, smart. He said, look, Joe, don't ever bring up the word smart again. <laughs> Dude, You're he said, You're not smart. Yo. You barely graduated college. You I was like, wow. 42 years and you haven't done a thing. You haven't done you anything. You haven't done anything. You're 42 hor- years. You're horrible as a human being. <laughs> you haven't done as much as I've done I'm a bad president, but days. you're a piece of shit human being. Well, dude, that's what's funny too, right? It's like You don't want a president with Alzheimer's. <laughs> no, it's like you look at that, right? It's like the dude's been in Congress for 40 fucking something years, right? And the president's only been there for four years, right? And the people nowadays, like, they're like, he's making it all go to hell. The world is burning. It's all his fault. It's just like, what the fuck is like? It's like, is it that? Is it that serious? Like, meanwhile, most of the members of Congress, the KKK members, <laughs> dude, it's, like, right. it's like this dude just became a politician. Like he just yeah, he started. just came. He didn't have a career. At this it's shit. like it's like wow, the so fuck. So actually, Trump does have like the upper hand when it comes to like him talking that type of shit because he's like, look, I don't play here. This ain't my. You've been doing politics. For wrong. A long time. Like, he's like just wrong. I just wrong. started. I just, he's like rookie of the year. I just started this shit, and now I'm president. So suck my dick. Yes, Joe, you're not smart at all. You're a piece of shit. <laughs> You'll never and be then, president. This was the crazy shit. He says something. He was like, you know what? You know what? You know what? Your son is a horrible person. Dude, that was brutal, dude. I was like, yo. Yeah, and he then went Joe was like, Joe was like, fuck you. My son had a drug problem. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And he was a war veteran. <laughs> no, he looked good co- recovering from that. Like, you know, he, oh, he what, was, you know, he's, he's like, like he what looks, son? He's he like, fucking Bo. human. He's like, I don't you know, know? Bo. <laughs> I don't <laughs> have a fucking son. It was brutal. And then they asked they asked him about fucking the white supremacy. Do you, do you, do you know, do you, do, do, do fucking... Do you denounce, know David Duke, nigga? Do you denounce he white supremacy? And he was like, oh. but no, if you watch it back, he's like, sure, sure, sure. Like, he's saying it, but it was just like, all he had to do was just slow down and just repeat it, like, very simply. You yeah, know what but I we mean? know he ain't going to do that shit. I yeah, mean, yeah, yeah. it is what it is, but at right. the end of the day, I was just like. But that's all he has to do if you think about it. 
If he would just announce some stupid shit. Well, dude, he, he didn't really? even say Proud Boys first. Like, Biden said Proud Boys. He's like, what do you want me to say? What do you want me to call these people? And Biden's like, Proud Boys. I and he's the, like, then the Proud I Boys. the Proud Boys is probably just like a handful of people. What the they fuck are. is the Proud Boys? You know it's, it's, some, it's like just... Just as stupid as Antifa. It's like a, no, it's different than Antifa. Like it's a, it's it was G- Gavin McGinnis, right? Is like the co-founder of Vice, right? Um, n- news media. So, Vice uh, magazine, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And uh, it was supposed to be like some kind of pushback for like white males, like a you know. Uh, Cisgendered, uh, cisgendered males. Cisgendered males. Like, so cause, what the fuck is cis? Like, uh, you're, straight, you're, males. straight No, no, it's not straight. It's you're, you're a man straight in a man's ish. body. You're a man in a man's body. What? Is it that you're what a man, a man is? in a man's... <laughs> yeah, but, you know, some people so are like trans. Sometimes. I mean, we know these people. So <laughs> cis means a man in a man's body. No, cis means you're... Whatever you are. So a cis female, So what cis is the shit male. that when God called me... So I'm just a man. Yeah, no, cis is a thing that humans came up with. This is like some new woke but what shit. Is that? So you know? explain what the fuck cis is. Y'all say this I just so said, loosely, cis- but I just they can't said. even explain you this shit. You don't know what cisgendered is? No, nigga, that's oh, why I'm asking, don't, motherfucker. Don't, don't. And you're the one that's throwing the word out right. there, so you should be able to explain I just told it. you it's a fucking don't. straight person. It's a person who was born it's as got, a male got who got identifies as a male. Yeah, it's got nothing to do with sexuality. So that's a fucking man. Am I not lying? Like, what the fuck is a cis? I know, but What the fuck is a cis man? We're trying to be woke here. No, fuck being woke. <laughs> there's niggas and bitches. What are you talking about? Nah, sometimes there's, you know. So, so you mean to tell me, as a regular nigga, I gotta walk around and call myself a cis man? No, that's wicked. <laughs> that's fucking gay, that's exactly. Gay, dude. What the fuck is that? It's because this is how the language that they so 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 the Proud Boys and like people like fucking what's his name? Who's the, who's the other dude that's on fucking Rogan? I got like he got fired from his fucking college job. For what are you leaving? Are you really leaving? I'm going to piss. Uh, oh, like a guy? I bet you're gonna fucking stand up while you piss, to piss too, like huh? A cis male. Are you gonna are you gonna stand up and piss like a cis male? He sits down when he pees. Who were you just talking about, though? Uh, who was the guy? He was a, he was a, he was a, um, Jordan Peterson. Who's kind of fucking oh, retarded. Jordan B. Peterson. Yeah, yeah. 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 But it's like, I, I don't agree with like no. most of the shit he says, but yes. he, he's very interesting and intriguing the way he talks. Right, but but they, dude, it was like something had to do with they. He lost his job because he wasn't gonna commit to using like seventy two new pronouns. And he's just like, no, that's. Like, I'm not going to, like, like here, you take this fucking folder. I don't even think I know 72 <laughs> words, dude. I don't think my vocabulary has more than 72 That's words. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> and this dude's just like, come on, this is fucking silly, you know? And it's like, you know, I, don't, I mean, I, I'll call whatever somebody wants to be called. You know what I mean? Don't get mad at me if I fuck up or something, like, but I'm not trying. I'm not, I'm not yeah, going to yeah. deliberately be like, but also don't tell me you're fucking, you want to be referred to as like Zims or Zims. Yeah, that's like, that's like you, you could say, oh, I want to change my name to Billy. Right. And if I fuck up and call, call you Kenny, Kenny by accident, you're going to get mad pissed. Like, why would I get pissed though? Right. You know what I mean? If it's just like, oh, I used to call you Kenny. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah. so why, why get mad? You know, I don't think you can get mad. I don't know. I, it, it just... I mean, I don't know. You can't. There's too many. The world is changing, Kenny. Yeah, but it's it's like you. It's like I feel like you gotta put. <laughs> you a, need a bigger you gotta, vocabulary. You gotta draw the lines. <laughs> like no, because they just want to be special. Like everyone's like, oh no, I'm a fucking this, that, and the other thing. It's just like, dude, can you just pick a thing? Pick a thing. Like I don't need to know a whole new bunch. There's of so new. many things to pick from I'm, too. I'm, I'm not you talking get... <laughs> like the, the fucking. I'm not talking like the the ones that like you know are like okay, <clears throat> these are like the core ones. You know what I'm saying? The core. Like we'll do we'll do cis. You know, it trans, and th- that that's that's where I'll, well, cis trans, that's it, right? Yeah. Because because then it's and then it's like non-binary, and it's just like ah, you people suck. <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? It's like no offense, but I feel like you know it's just like come on, it's like it's just, this is just science and biology, yeah, and it's, it's just like now it you're just to get like silly. It starts to get silly after a while. That's but. what I'm saying. So I'll go with like the core, you know. But when we start fucking be- veering off into fucking wherever the fucking imagination land we live in, uh, you lose me. You know, you lose me. Yeah, I'm I can't. Gonna, y'all lost me. What I'm saying it's is, it's cis, cisgendered. So how, just how, just, just, just how you were just as upset and confused at what was going on, and then Sean tried to talk to you like you were an asshole. He's like, "Oh my God, you don't know? How what dare the, you? How dare you not know?" He tried to like outwoke you and shit. This is shit that is just not gonna register with me. This is shit that's gonna register with my kids. And, yeah, you're you gonna know, be prepared like, for it. He's gonna be like, it was gonna be like watching this that. Is like, SNL I'm gonna thing. have to have a talk with my son. Like, look, you're not cis anything. 
You're a fucking man. He's like, what do you mean, Dad? I'm a sissy. <laughs> That's what they call me at school. <laughs> but it just doesn't make any sense. You know what I'm saying? Like, how could you say that to somebody? Because say the, that to people. Because, well, all right, what I, well, I, I understand that you're teaching it's like, it's, like, what's, it's like, what's the point of saying cis male when you could just say straight male? Well, that's the other thing, is, is it doesn't have to do with sexuality. I think you can be a gay cis man, can't you? Yeah. Yeah. So a man and a man's yeah, body. Yeah, no, so yeah, everybody gay is, gay is, is the correct is, term for cis gendered. What I'm it's but just, what is the point of even having that word? Because now we have the new genders. What's the gender? Uh, I don't know. Male what I, and female. So it's trans male, trans female. So what the fuck is, um, okay. Right? So that's what I'm saying. So we'll, I'll do like sh- cis gendered which you know is a word i've only heard maybe in the last few years right and then trans woman trans male and but now we have like and then they have the non-binary which is i don't agree i don't identify as any one of those things which is like so you that and those are like them or aliens days. you can't be neither yeah. like you have to be something well you would be an alien yeah no you're just like you're just like if who the fuck am i to say female, you have if, to be one or the if other if you're not a male I mean, or a female it's just a, to me it's just like science kind of like you facts. are born either a male or a female. Yes, when you when you pop out the cooch or have a but but in utero we're both the same for a little while. Everybody has an ex. Everybody's but trans. But those at niggas birth. that are born well, not birth. This is definitely the last episode. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. No, no, no! Come on, go on. No, I don't. I, I like to be truthfully honest with you. I don't even want to talk about the shit. I don't even know how we make, got on the subject. Y'all, you white niggas. How else? You think <laughs> you think my black ass was just like, oh, he was a cis male and um. Oh no, it just sounds. It's just like it's just a dude. The shit that fucks me up. The nigga goes, he goes, oh, it's a man. Yeah. It's a man in a man's body. <laughs> like so, so a what man? the fuck is that, <laughs> like, man? Yo, that's pretty fucking redundant. Hey, yo, you sissy motherfucker, <laughs> but you a man in a man's body. Yeah, so that's the thing. You could be a, you could be you could be a you could be a trans man, right? Like a man. But it, or trans woman rather, but still be like women. Just, Look, I'm gonna right? tell you like this. I don't give a fuck. What I don't you either. Is. I don't care what you is. Just stay the fuck out of my way. <laughs> That's it. Let me do my thing. Whether you man, woman, trans man, trans woman, just stay the fuck out of my way. Let I don't fuck that with pipe. people. Period. That's it. <laughs> All I live for is pussy, head, and weed. <laughs> That's it, my nigga. Oh, you chauvinist pig. No, I want head too. Oh my God, you're such a misogynist! <laughs> How dare you? Just gonna demand head? I'm not a misogynist. I don't hate all bitches. <laughs> I don't. I hate a few. I mean, you know, it's true. I don't, I don't like, hate. I, when I found out, when I really realized what misogyny was, I don't hate all women. That's the bullshit. I love women. Only the ones. But there's I fuck. a few that I really do fucking dislike, and that doesn't make me a misogynist. No, bitches, I mean, you, you do. Yeah, it's, bitches uh, hate niggas all the time. They hate a lot of niggas. Yeah. Actually, women hate a lot of fucking men. But guess what? It don't matter. Yeah, you still fuck them. You still <laughs> fucking these niggas. You know that nigga ain't got no job. You know he ain't got no, you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh, I'm dope. laid off living at my aunt's crib. It's a joke. She's a female. She's a cis female. Cis female. But no, it's a joke. I, I, I What I'm saying is, it's like, look. I don't give a fuck what you are. It's a lot of extra vocabulary. Be whatever the fuck you want to be, man. It don't Ah, matter. All right. Okay. 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 So see what you're saying. Be whatever they want to be. Right. So now when you tell me. But don't clap. Don't put me in a class. Be whatever the fuck you want to be. But don't put me in shit. I'm a real nigga over here surviving. (laughs) That's it. It's real shit. It's like, oh, you, but you're being insensitive because you're not calling me. Princess. I don't give a fuck. You're, you're not calling me Princess guess Leia. What? That's how the fucking world works, motherfucker. <laughs> there's sensitive people, then there's people that don't give a fuck. And I'm in the class of the nigga that don't give a fuck. Always down for a 187. <laughs> <laughs> it's murder. I don't know. But on other things, we don't have shit. I do. Where's the drop? Do we have the drops? Got to do it. Oh, which I know we did. We did have some shit. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait it out. Wait it out. Come on, Sean. Sean. Yeah, you was about to talk. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We grew. We grew up real. We grew up real fucked up and dangerously, dangerously. Right. We weren't shooting uh, guns, but we were shooting heroin. What? <laughs> He's fucking. We had some. We had some fucked up times, right? Growing up, right? Yeah. yeah. Like we went to. I know I went to a fucked up school. Fucked up public school. You guys. 
Why was it fucked up? No, I went to high. What, what you mean? Oh, I went to East Boston High with Sean. He was, was pissing in the back up, hallway. Like, teachers, like, they didn't really teach you. Like, teachers would put on, like, a movie, and you'd watch a movie, or they'd tell you to copy the textbook. And you just copy chapters in the textbook. Like, we didn't really learn shit. Right. You know what I mean? There was, like, fucking 40 people in the class. I don't know. We just didn't learn nothing. Okay, so... Okay, so you brought that up. Teachers that were characters too, right? So, have you had what teachers have you had that were like had left an impact on you? Can you can you name anything? I mean, I I got some real fucked up. I mean, I I had this art teacher that would like let let me cut class. Oh yeah, no, Miss X her class. X of Forest. <laughs> yeah, I never had her. I didn't have fucking. Yeah, art. dude, we had this kiln. It was like a kiln that we would make clay stuff, and we do we were making bongs and pipes. Yeah, maybe you had that snake pipe and shit. Yeah. Put the weed in the fucking mouth. Yeah, that's a great. Wow. <laughs> Come to East Boston High, where you can make bongs <laughs> and knives and shit, and now and, and a porcelain in a fucking porcelain pottery class. They probably don't even have it anymore. These motherfuckers is making bongs out of porcelain in high school. But it's out of porcelain. Yeah, it's clay. She's probably like in her 40s, too. Clay, nigga. Yeah, oh, yeah. You're okay. making a bong out of clay, nigga. <laughs> we were smoking out What the out fuck of is it. wrong with y'all niggas? That's why we're like this now. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> her class was just shit, dude. I all wish right. I had art. I didn't have art. She, we, she used to, like, drink nips and stuff. She used to have nips in her desk. Oh, yeah. We used to drive her crazy, too. It was crazy how she used to just let us come in a classroom. Well, That's no, why she well, was she drinking. She didn't just let you, motherfucker. Like, what she she was getting paid. Hey, no, she loved me. I, I don't know what I, I don't know. She, she had a nice ass, too. <laughs> she loved she me. She was a little up there in her age. <laughs> she was old, yeah. But she had a nice ass. I remember, I remember her friend Marco, rest in peace. Oh, God he's bless a funny him. prick. He was always trying to fuck her and shit. <laughs> come on, Mr. Well, was he successful? All right, talk about some shit that's real, nigga. I want to hear some. All right, how about we stole all the fucking triple beams? Yeah, we used to steal all the, from chemistry class, we used to steal the triple beams. What like, year was this? And sell them for 50 bucks a piece. 1995, like 96. 96, yeah. You know in 96 they had digital scales, right? Yeah, but these are triple these beams, are triple dog. Beams. <laughs> these are precise. I don't give a fuck, nigga. If you know a nigga that's whack. weighing crack out they on triple sold, beam scales. They, dude, they sold, dude. I, mean, I tell you everything. Dude, we stole everything in school. We stole all the fire extinguishers. We stole <laughs> we stole the fire extinguishers and sold them to all the garages, like the auto body garages <laughs> around the neighborhood. <laughs> Yo. We would steal pencils, pens, sell them to the artists. Like, could you imagine, like, <laughs> dude, they probably had, like, 25 fucking triple beam scales. Yeah, let's get back on these triple beam skip because this is the <laughs> shit that's, like, really blowing my fucking mind. Like, nigga, how much weight do you think you got where you need a fucking triple beam scale? No, they're, they're scale, fucking, though. they're moving Quarter weed. Pounds, they're not pounds, doing pounds. fucking. Yeah, I know that. You know. But they got little hand scales for that shit back yeah, then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, they look better. Nigga, I was talking about, dude, yeah, the triple, I put this no, shit the on the triple beam. Was beam. Dope, and then you yeah, would have, yeah, yeah. You would My have. uncle still uses a triple beam. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't it one of the same ones? <laughs> I probably sold it to him, dude. <laughs> you probably, and like, you still hear rappers to this day. Oh, yeah. Put triple beam in their fucking rhymes <laughs> and shit. Yes. Like, my nigga, you was born in 2005. How the fuck are you talking about a triple beam right now? <laughs> you don't even know what the fuck that is. No, I Did you even yeah. buy a triple beam like on Amazon? Yeah, yeah. of course. <laughs> but who the fuck? Why would you? you why would you do that? It's got you know you only get the. Why thing would like you want to do it to yourself? Like yeah. I'm gonna get this shit down to the tenth of a gram. I mean, they got a digital. Let's. I in. want this shit to be on point. You can on do hundreds. Point. Right. <laughs> and, uh, matter of fact, I'm sorry. The digital one, you can get your shit. Precise. Not even in a second. Like it just takes. It, t- it literally takes a second. Yeah, you don't gotta be You'll like a fucking doctor. Like, like boom. Uh, oh, boom. Like playing with the fucking. Oh, two hundred and forty. Yeah, but the tri- a triple beam is perfect for like weed. Yeah, weed weight. but dude, no, as a triple powder, beam was good. It, use it. What are you talking it's about? It's not good for powder because you can't do points. Right. Precisely. Like you, yeah, quite, no, you're not selling forties from a fucking. Nigga, if beam. you're using a triple beam scale for powder, it's for kilos. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. What the definitely. fuck is wrong with you? All day. Who's trying to break down twenties <laughs> on a fucking triple beam? <laughs> Who's so, I don't know any. Hey, Who's so hey, kilos? Let me see if I can sell. Let me see if I could bag up all these twenties. <laughs> Like blow oh, using this triple beam scale. Dude, we were my doing nigga. it. We were doing it. We were let doing me bag it. up. Let me bag I've up. Done I'm it talking before. about 20s of powder, motherfucker. I've done it before. I've done it before. With 20s of powder? Yes. Yes. How? Back in the day, dude. You just like, said it. Back in them yeah, days. Like not listen, back in them days, I didn't have a digital scale. I had a triple beam scale. My dad smashed it. You know what I mean? A digital scale was like fucking $150. So it sounds dude. like you was robbing yourself, nigga. Maybe. How in the fuck are you weighing out points? 
on a triple beam. I'm scale. not saying it was a regular thing. I'm saying I have. I know. Yeah, but, but it's just when it's I'm hard saying, to when read you like did, a fucking when half When you a did, gram. I'm sure you lost out. There is no way. I lost yeah. out when I was doing the cocaine to begin with. It's <laughs> <laughs> fair. Fair enough. That's fair. You know what's good though about seeing those things? All right, so we like look at it in our point of view, like 15 year old it's kids, like right? And it's like they're fifty bucks a piece, so we just looking at them like fucking. And that was big money. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean, yeah, yeah. fifteen year old kids like fifty dollars is a lot. Yeah. And you sell you sell an Italian nigga a fucking triple beam scale, and yeah. he's like, hey, where you get that thing? <laughs> you already know what kind of business he's into. Of he's course. not weighing meat. No, you know that's the plug. Definitely, he's oh. definitely not weighing no meat, man. It ain't happening. It's not happening. I don't want to see no nigga with no triple beam scale. That's like really dumb. And if I do see a nigga with a triple beam, it's like for me, it's like seeing a nigga walking around yeah. and like just crawl and crawl canine and cross color. <laughs> it's like for what? A British yeah. knight. Remember like for what? Remember when those when the ski masks like first hit, right? Remember they like the ski masks first hit oh, in the eighties. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Now it's oh like, no, the, the wraparound joints was like the nineties. Yeah, yeah, it's like the Velcro in the back. Yeah, and the Wu Tang joints. Yes, dude. Mm-hmm. And now it's all like, look at us now. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Right, right. Now I got. I just went to Walmart and bought a fucking joint for three dollars, and those shits over there was had to be at least they were expensive. Uh, uh I know that uh, what you call was expensive back in the day. What? Ski mask. Oh, I'm sure it wasn't three dollars. No, those things were probably like ten bucks. Fucking yeah, 15, ten fifteen $2 bucks all or whatever, day. Right? Yeah, it's crazy for a ski mask. And now you can go to Walmart and get a fucking. A mask for three dollars, two dollars. Yeah, fucking reusable like packages. Right, exactly. Sustainable. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. Renewable like, energy. I've had mine in my pocket for like 30 days. Just looking, pick it up, move it. Yeah, that's a new normal, masks. Yeah, but how yeah. often do you change your mask, Sean? I don't think Sean uses a mask. I wear a mask. He's an anti mask. When I work, when I work yeah, he I wear masks. He wears the same mask every fucking day. <laughs> every day. What's the, what's, the suitable, what's the suitable number to tell people? To Man. tell people? Yeah. Uh, it's like it's like change it's like doing your bed sheets. I change my mask every every day. It's like, I change what about my your, mask or I change my pants. <laughs> what about your bed sheets? <laughs> Is it like a weekly, a monthly, a Yo, yearly? Dog, when's the last time you changed your bed sheets? <laughs> no, I, I Probably wild, like two I, weeks I, I, ago. I been getting wild in my bed sheets. I change them every couple of weeks, two weeks. Really? Okay, okay, all right. So two that wasn't too weeks, bad. I, was, I thought you were gonna say. I thought you were gonna be like, I get some wild in my shit, dude. I do it like every two days, at least every every two hours. This shit's messy. <laughs> 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 How, how, how long do you wash How long do you? I'll tell you this. Drum roll. Mm, he's like, I don't got sheets, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Just get a mattress. Nah, I, haven't, I haven't changed that shit in a minute. It's... I don't want to tell the exact number just in case yeah, somebody's there is... trying to give me some pussy. But, like, <laughs> it's, uh, no, like, I haven't changed. <laughs> Matter of fact, no, no, no. To be honest with you, I've changed my sheets. I have not changed my blanket. Have you washed it? No. Nice. <laughs> I haven't changed my blanket. It's standing up against the my wall. My blanket has been through at least 10 bitches right now. Like, you think they blanket. all smell each other? They're like pheromones? Yo, but <laughs> this is the crazy <laughs> shit. My blanket still smells like fucking Versace cologne. Like, no shit. It, yeah, it's just. One bitch smells and she pisses in the bed. <laughs> <laughs> it's my territory, motherfucker. What bitches am I fucking with that's pissing in the bed? You think I fuck no, with that? just smells another <laughs> female. It's involuntary. That's what I'm, I'm gonna say. This though, do you fuck under the covers or, or over? Over, over. Me too. <laughs> Me too. I learned my lesson. My Sometimes you fuck with a bitch with some like real good. Nah, cause you fuck with a good bitch with some real good. Put that good wet shit that wop. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're just gonna like, create some atmosphere. <laughs> well, what happens is like you got girls that just squirt right, and like you'll be fucking a girl and she might squirt a little bit and it gets on the. If it gets under the like, if it gets, if it's not on if top it's not of the to puddle up, if it's not on top of the blanket, like on a on a uh, uh, what do you call that thing, the um yeah, like on a, a towel or something, like yeah, yeah. it's like a tarp. It's like dog, like this bitch just ruined my shit. But I'm not washing my blanket. The white stains. So <laughs> yeah, like my blank, my blanket looks like a bleach, like like I had a bleach party and just started splashing <laughs> shit. You see little stains everywhere. And I'm not like, I don't, I'm just like, yo, dog. Even when I get on a girl's bed, if I get on a girl's bed, (laughs) if I'm going to get in her bed, like, I don't even, like, I'll sit on the bed with clothes. At first? I'm not fucking on top of her bed with no clothes on. Not fucking on top of of her bed? No, we're getting up under the cleat. We're getting up under the sheets because 
If she fuck on top of the bed, then that means another nigga done fucked on top of the bed, which means his nuts was there or whatever. You, you don't know what's So what makes you, you think there's no shit under you. the covers? That's the silliest logic I ever heard. Yeah, I guess that's <laughs> <it. laughs> Maybe that's just my logic. If there was a chick here, yeah. right, and, and, Ken, and, and Kenny fucked her, and then she was re- she ready to fuck you, would you let her? He's going to hit her with the fire hose. Like, I don't know, Kenny's dick was just in there. Nah, if we, if, we run it, if we doing like some orgy shit, that's different. Yeah. When in yeah, Rome, it's when yeah, in Rome, it's different. Like my nigga, nobody gives a fuck about no sheets in an orgy. Or no, you think Is they're there standards? Even sheets? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> toga, toga. Be, yo, think about that. When was the last time? Have you ever been in an orgy? No, I have not. No, have you, have you no, four people, but not an You've orgy. You've never been like a or, like a like a, like a like like a like like like, like Caligula. An orgy? Like Caligula. I, well, I mean, to me, it'd be like a party. You oh, know? Yeah, I would think like four, four people could be an orgy. No? Yeah, I don't feel like it. Well, that's just like... It's that's a good like, time. A it's not like no Caligula <laughs> orgy. Not bad. Yeah, that's like that's a couple I mean. swap. That's not like really like... You're not really going in. But an orgy orgy... Would yeah, it's just to, like say body six, parts and shit. six. Six or more. 30, 20, 10, 15. <laughs> <laughs> I say like six, six of... Six or more is probably considered. Six or more is considered. It's just in like a fucked up. Is twist. there anything higher than like, an orgy? Like a fucked up twister. You know what I mean? Like a, yeah, just like a you pretzel. Think about it, like four people. That's just like a double date. That's nothing. That's like, oh, we're just watching each other fuck. Or we may have swapped each other's partners. Right, right. But nothing's really going on. So if you're going yeah, to actually no extra have extra shit, like people yeah, parring like, over your balls and shit. Right, like in an orgy. Like, like a is true, that a guy? A I don't know. People standing by like, got nothing to do to just fucking smoke a cigarette. Yeah, a true orgy is when, like, you got a nigga standing outside smoking a cigarette or whatever, <laughs> talking to his wife. Like, look, look, Are you gonna babe, jump I'll, in? Be, I'll be home later on, okay? Uh, and uh, me and Carolyn are having a lot of fun. <laughs> but I'll be back, and I'll, I'll call you a little bit later. Like, that's, a, like, a real orgy. I think, like, a real orgy, like, you got time enough to take breaks. Yeah, like yeah, 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 like, yeah. Like, there's other shit going on. It's like, like a flash orgy. You do it in the mall. Oh, no. I had an orgy before, and the lady had meatballs going and macaroni and cheese. What, and, there was a salad bar? <laughs> no, it was no, don't, nobody ate the salad. Um, <laughs> but it was just like, all, there was like a bunch of different things, and then she had activities and shit. And so there was fucking going on in the house while the activities were going. I think that was like a real- What kind of activity? Orgies or Yeah, that sounds party. interesting. Like that was It was a swingers party, but- it was, but it wasn't. Was everybody swinging. naked? No, there were people outside with clothes on and shit. But for the most part, all I seen was pussy. But did you have like all access, or they were like, "Hey, you can't come any further. There's some fucking going on over there." Oh no, no, no. So there's rules. So if the door is open, that means you could just walk in. If the door is halfway open, you could just watch. If the door is closed, that means you can watch open. from where the hallway. You can watch. You got to peek in like a do- creep. Well, yeah. If the door is halfway open, so if the door is halfway open, you can just watch. Stand in the doorway. And yeah, watch. but could, could you if do the door is all the way open, it's open for invitation. You could just come in and then ask if you can join or whatever. Where was this? Like a hotel or like a That's fucking? Been, it was pre-COVID. I mean, I'm not asking for like to, you know. It was at Molly Mag's house. I don't fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> Name drop. It was in, it was in, oh. it was in uh, New Hampshire or whatever, but that was years ago. And I've talked about it on the podcast before. So if you want to hear about that story, I feel and like other we have. stories that we've talked about on the podcast, make sure you check out www.inthegutterpodcast.com. Um, nice site. Yeah, it's a great site. Um, also, make sure you hit up, hit us up for these patches. Um, they are right here. They're five dollars a piece. Make sure you hit it up on the website www.inthegutterpodcast.com for these patches, and you can put them on anything. You can put it on. You can go to Walmart, buy a, a fucking pullover, and put it on one of those. Stick you can it to buy it. A jean jacket, like I did, and slap it on one of those, and you will be an official member of the In the Gutter Podcast. One of my yeah. bitches has him sewed on her bra. Like yeah, just kidding. With her, <laughs> with her boxed ass titties. If you got a bitch or whatever that got patches on her bra, I don't even want them titties. If you got a, if your titties is big enough to put a Letterman letter on there, I'm good. Yeah, I seen a fucking tattoo. You know, you see crazy shit online. Mm-hmm. This dude had like a big nipple, right? And he had a fucking outline of a naked dude, and the, the nipple was the dick. I was just like, yo, what the fuck? This is hilarious, dude. I was like, I like this idea of like using like. Like shit like that, you know what I mean? It's almost like street art or some shit. Like Banksy fucking like throw some fucking, you know, like yo, like you know, see, I don't know. I feel like Banksy every time I come on a bitch's back. <laughs> like, yo, bank <laughs> shot. <laughs> Let me see what kind of masterpiece I can drop today. <laughs> and then you can just go ahead and shoot it right in her. Got a mask on. Right in her whole shit. Have you fucked with a mask on yet since the quarantine? No. No. 
now fucked with the mask on. Yeah. No, that's pretty hot though. It sounds like dirty. It's like you just meet in an alley or something. You know what I mean? So you still leave the mask like on. Strangers in the night. <laughs> 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 Come with your little mask. Leave the mask. That's hilarious, right? To be like, no, we're fucking, but you got to leave the mask on. Me and Kenny were talking about. <laughs> so we got um, rules. We are talking about doing a show. Uh, you think that's really happening? People are fucking with masks on, like. Maybe. I don't know. They're driving in their cars with them on. They're fucking no, they're wearing them in the shower. Like COVID people if it's in like. a porno, I'm pretty sure it's real life. Yeah, porn's on top of it. They're like South Park. Yeah. Porn, if you think about it, porn's I mean, who on hasn't everything. had sex with a mask on? <laughs> Uh, you never, you never like, like you never fucked around. Like, put, on, <laughs> put on like a horse's head or, or, or like a cow's mask. <laughs> really, nigga. <laughs> uh, really. The corona actually saved my, did my own drop. That was pretty good. That was fucking good. landed. So me and Kenny were talking about a show because like lately, like I've just been assaulted with all types of shit, and we were talking about some shit earlier. And we was thinking about coming up with a stro a show. Like yeah. after like after talking about the cis male shit, like yeah, yeah, we yeah. should just come up with a show called uh, uh Straightish. 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 It's like blackish, except it's just niggas that's just doing <laughs> straightish things. Like, like hey yo, Tommy. Hey, haven't seen you in a while, buddy. Hey, you think you can lick <laughs> on my balls tonight? Hey, you wanna come over and watch Hamilton? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, yo, did you know that Girlfriends just came back on Netflix, brother? Why don't you come Bro. over and watch it sometimes? I'm like gay. Hey, let's go get petties. Hey. Because you're not, you're not gay, you're just straight edge. Straight edge. Straight edge. I got straight edge. Yeah. Not straight edge, nigga. Straight edge. Straight, 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 straight edge. The only time I feel like a real guy is when I get that fucking coating over my nails. Only time yeah. I feel like a real guy is when I have dirt under those motherfuckers. <laughs> and I stub my fingers in a girl's pussy. That's it. Uh, but actually, like, I'm going to be honest with you, baby. That's, that's pretty nasty. You can't do that. And I realize that you can't do that with girls. Because if, if you think about it, if girls touched your hand, like if they, if a girl touched your dick with dirty fingernails, would you feel all right with it's it? It's like masturbating with dirty hands. Why would you do that? Because oh. I'm just going to jerk off. <laughs> fuck is wrong with you, you fucking right? freak. We're doing it too good. <laughs> fuck is, fuck is Sean's like, hold on, let me light a candle, wash my hands. Let me light this knock chomper. <laughs> yes. I want it. I want it. I want it now. I don't. I don't think about it. There's always shaming. I'm just saying. I, I mean, I, I would. I, I mean, if if, if I'm all I'm saying is, if a girl has dirt on her her nails and she's like giving she me a touch hand, me all she's day. giving me a hand job. She better be fucking homeless. Oh. <laughs> 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 well, think about it. Are you going to stop her and be like, dude, can you wash your hands? Yes. <laughs> Where? There's no sink. She lives outside. <laughs> right. <laughs> She fingers Kenny's box. And just, I know. I'm like, ah. Oh. Next thing you know, Kenny comes over. He's like, I can't do the show today. I got a fucking yeast infection. <laughs> I was like, what? Yeah. You know. Right on my ass. Uncleanly practices by. Uncleanly. Uncleanliness. Horrible. It's just, it, was, it was just the old poo poo under her nails. Oh. <laughs> From the oh. last time. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. I never thought about any of that shit until I dealt with a girl that was like always anal about fucking nails and shit. So then I started doing straightish things like I'm around my boys and we're about to roll a blunt. He's filing like, his nails. I'm like, my nigga, you going to wash your nails? You going to wash your shit first? Because you got dirt all up under your nails. He's like, my nigga, I'm a mechanic. Yeah. I just got off work. I'm like, fuck that. Wash your fucking fingers. Before you jerk me off. No, it's gross. I mean, being in the trade suit, I mean, it, you'd see, you know what I'm saying? It gets it gets fucking ugly. But, you know, I, you, what are you going to do? Sometimes this shit gets dirty. That's, you know, masculine shit. Let me shit tell you right, right now, there. if you're doing man shit, you Man shit, shit. that's what I'm saying. It's <laughs> masculine. Yeah, but that's the thing. You have to be doing man shit. Like, after working, not straightish, not hours, no. <laughs> I've just been fingering bone holes. Come on, come on. Just, we stop it. You say it at hours and hours. Oh, you get so fucking nuts. Come on, so. come on, just do it. Oh. I'm just saying, fingernails. You know, you yeah, were fellas, make sure you keep your fingernails clean. Uh, we don't want to hurt you guys. Oh, we don't want them to hurt. You know exactly what we're talking about, motherfucker. Do I you? figured uh, I, 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 I kind of keep on keep on top of it, but my toenails. Yeah, but you don't do I real might, work, Sean. I might do my toenails maybe like once, or twice a once. Or Wait till they months. bang off like <laughs> they just snap. It's the claws. Talons, terrible. I hate self care. Honestly, it's like a hard. It's like a. Do you know what I mean? Self care is the worst care when you don't know how to fucking take care of yourself. Because you don't love yourself. Yeah, uh, I don't think so. 
I mean, I know matter. you. But if I love myself, I wouldn't smoke cigarettes. I, I, I guess if you look at it like not that, necessarily you're addicted. Not necessarily, not necessarily you're addicted. I wouldn't be smoking you're addicted any, to those I'm substances. Not. Yeah, but well, you're addicted to those substances. No, you have a disease. If I cared about myself, I wouldn't have done them. You know, there's a lot of people that don't no, do drugs or no, smoke. No. That was a choice. Yes. That they consciously made. But you, my brother, me and him grew up in the same fucking project, had the same mother, not the same father. But he went a whole that motherfucker is a Mormon priest and is on a police force. Because he's seen you fuck up. <laughs> no, no, that's you didn't see me at no, all. No, I wasn't around. No, no, that just that, that happens. It's just like the, it's just or... you know it's just like you know you got some people that that want to be you know yeah but I don't think it's hating yourself because you like to get high and drink no but if, if you loved yourself you know that you if you loved yourself you know that drugs are gonna harm you in the long run I mean and, life is gonna harm you in the long yeah, run yeah but I'm telling you right yes, now when I got into drugs when I got into based drugs, off of society's society's standards right if you smoke that's gonna harm you yes. don't do it. If you're going to eat healthy, don't smoke. Right. Don't do drugs. But I can't imagine to be one of these people like, I'm just up at five eating vitamins, going to the gym. Like, yeah, fucking, but those uh, people don't I do, juice. But like that's fucking. their high. Yeah, but then you get hit by a car or a bus. Right. That's you know on what I mean? Them. And they never got high. They never had fun. That's on them. But they think that's fun. Like, I can't get into that routine like a fucking super soldier. Like, I just, like, I just quit vaping, right? It's been like 20 days. I haven't vaped any nicotine at all. And I'm thinking, like, yeah, it's great that I quit vaping, but, like, what is this really doing? What, is it, what am I going to live a year longer? Mm. If that, I mean, what's the point? Live your life. Is the <laughs> That's point. what I'm thinking. Yeah. At the end of the day, I'm gonna stop vaping right now. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of the day, here on in the gutter podcast, we want we want our listeners to live their best life. That's all. And whatever it is that you're doing, whether what, whatever, whatever makes shoot, you happy, what, if you're shooting heroin and that's your best life, shoot whatever. it in your neck and do it all. Do, do whatever the fuck you want to do. You know what I'm saying? Like if you're living a single life and you don't have any kids or anything like that, live your fucking best life. It's okay. Because one experience for one person isn't going to be the same experience for another person. And, um, you know, I, I don't give a fuck at the end of the day. So you can do whatever the fuck you want to do. Just don't shit on my lawn. No, don't have a problem. You even have a lawn? No. I heard you got that manscaper. (laughs) I have a lawn. Yeah, I actually just See, that's what it. I was talking about, like, self-care. You know what I mean? Like, that's how I don't get depressed. When I'm, like, looking like, oh, shit, I should save my I balls I know, these again. bitches don't know what we go through. Dude, they wax their fucking... <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, I think they go... Well, I think they go through a lot worse. What are you really going through? <laughs> that was the joke. Because women go through all this thing. They got to wear makeup. They do their hair, blah, blah, blah. Men barely do anything. No, men do a lot. We just talked about a bunch of self-care for men. Yeah, but it's like, I know... It's I'm nothing like, compared to what women do. Depressed. Well, there's a lot of bitches I know that there's don't do There's a lot of shit. bitches that don't do nothing. Yeah. <laughs> that's, a, that's the thing. They're like, I'll that's match you out, baby. I can't, I gotta They're not so, shaving their legs or nothing like that. I'm just like, yo, what the fuck, my nigga? Yeah, that's shave, your shave your armpits, will you? <laughs> fuck your armpits. I'm not putting my hand under your armpits. Shave your fucking <laughs> legs, bitch. Fuck your armpits. Don't shave. I don't give a fuck if you never shave your armpits, bitch. Yeah. But shave that so, fucking pussy in your fucking legs, my nigga. At the end of the day, if I'm going to be fucking you and I got your legs up in the air... I don't want to touch your fucking armpits. I mean, your fuzzy, oh, you fuzzy legs. Yo, your fucking legs feel like a kiwi, B. <laughs> the back going up Shave to the ass, shits, going man. up the ass. You're like, oh, is this a guy? <laughs> I don't have hair on my chest. I don't get hair on my body like that. And the girl told me I was a bitch because I didn't have no hair on my She's chest. She's like, hey, wow. will you shave your chest? Huh? She was like, you're not even a fucking real man. Look at you. <laughs> I was like, wow. So I have to be. <laughs> have a you real, always been a boy? I have to be a real nigga. To have, <laughs> you should have said bitch. The only way, I, the only way I could be a real nigga is by having a taco meat on my fucking chest. You should say, bitch. I'm an iron worker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's another thing. I said. So I went to the. I went to my first job as a, as a local seven iron worker, and um, a guy disrespected me in one of the worst ways ever. And I was just like, because I'm excited. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm in a local now. I'm like, I'm in a, I'm in a union guy now. My brother. Like, I'm a brother. Like, I'm a part of a brotherhood. And uh, that brotherhood shit is out the window when you when you a new booty or a fresh fish. So I get on the job site, and I seen this guy, and he was like, uh, he was like, what the fuck are you here for? I was like, um. Here to work? Are you, a, <laughs> are you an iron worker? Because I'm a local seven iron worker. He said, no shit. You. <laughs> wow, they're letting anybody in this fucking thing now, huh? EOE, baby. I was like, 
wow. Then on, on, on another job, I'm walking. Uh, I got my hands on my arms. My arms is just tight. My arms are like sore. My shoulders are sore from carrying the steel. So I have. I was walking with my arms up in the air. And as a black man, that wasn't the brightest idea uh, because you open yourself up for a lot of bullshit. So one of the safety guys walks up to me. He goes, oh, my God, I thought it was a fucking cop over here. <laughs> just well, I'm, I'm, security. <laughs> put your arms down. It's too much going on. You're making us look bad. <laughs> making the whole shit look bad. Well, anyway, this has been episode 39. 39, of, baby. Of In the Gutter Motherfucking Podcast, man. We about to cut up out of here. Make sure you Woo. check out www.inthegutterpodcast. I mean, sorry. Buy some shit. www.inthegutterpodcast.com. Uh, we have the patches online for five bucks. We also have t-shirts for 20. Uh, make sure Sticker you get packs. your merch. And um, shout us out on Instagram, Facebook, uh, get YouTube, anything. Anywhere. Hashtag Spotify. us. Um, hashtag us. Uh, tell and, somebody. Or tell somebody. iTunes, Pornhub, and Chatterbait. Yeah, baby. Kenny Capozzi. Sean Sauer. And Big D. We out this bitch. Out, motherfucker. <laughs>